What's up, punks? G here, and welcome to the uh, Academy Challenge. Now, where, to be bluntly obvious, uh, this is like this for a reason. But before that, uh, something I didn't know until now is uh, Stream Raiders actually keeps your progress. So what we're going to do is we're going to start that off. Some people might be calling this pattern the runtime, but you'll see why in a minute. And this is the battle from last time. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. So as I said last week, I was going to keep trying to get access to us having a Totodile outbreak. And um, to put it bluntly, we didn't find it again. We just found a lot more Brooksishes. Brook, a lot more Brooksish. So, I'm going to be pretty blunt with everyone. I was feeling a bit off about it. <laughs> but, uh, we did find something else. Another, a proper shiny Totodile. And yes, this counts, because I just want to get Totodile over and done with. So without further ado, let's fight Totodile! Oh, I'm sorry if people don't agree with this, but come on. That was ridiculous. And there's Turtle done with. No weapons as usual. This rough crater chomps at any moving object it sees. Turning your back on it is not recommended. <laughs> and I wanted to show some off as well. While I was hunting for this, I found this shiny foregraph. Um. It has the rare mark. If people don't know, this is the rarest kind of a shiny you can find. And this is the first one I've found, and I'm really happy that I did find it. Obviously, I'll move this for a graph to the side now, because obviously it's not part of the challenge. But I just wanted to point it out. Now let's go and evolve this Totodile. No lie, that Tauros has been after me for ages. Right, just moving for a second so I can evolve it safely. There we are. Yeah, you caused me so much trouble, you little alligator.
Decent shiny, I'll admit that you can really see the difference. Alright, now that's over and done with, we can prioritize Drillba now. And hopefully we'll actually get it this time. Yeah, I, I've just been wondering to myself why has it been taking so long to find Drillba? Especially with uh, the fact that at least Turtledot had an excuse to be for the fact that there was nothing but... Whoa, 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 Oh god, these stupid crop rollers. I nearly forgot I muted <laughs> Forgot that I muted myself again, sorry. I gotta get my um thing sorted out on that, I know. Sorry about that, a bunch of um, Maltesers fell on the floor. Just had to pick them up. Okay, so just like we did last time, we'll do the sandwich in here, out here. Mainly just to stop the idea of the bright light stopping me from actually seeing anything. I think it was ham on it. There we go. Lots of ham stacked on top of each other. What could possibly go wrong? Although I do prefer bacon.
Yep, I got it right this time. Alright. Let the next hunt begin. And hopefully it be very quickly. As I said last time, I still don't have a definitive location to look for Drilba. So it's just a case of just wandering around and seeing the biggest spawns as possible, really. Obviously, Excadrill is going to be the more noticeable one out of the two. Where are you? This is the third week in a row I've been looking for this thing, and hopefully I am going to come out on top. They do say, after all, third time's a charm. But of course, uh, that obviously is never the case. <laughs> Sorry about that. Maybe from now on, I should try to grab snacks that aren't crunchy or loud. <laughs> So it's more brown and pink than pink and brown. You know, don't ask me why, but <clears throat> something feels off tonight. Like something feels different. Like I've forgotten something.
Yeah, honestly, something just feels different. I can't click on what, though? <laughs> Wait a minute. There you are, my boy. I mean, my gal. My lass. Bruni, here we're going in chatting morning. I'm having a James drunken. Uh, funny number. Alright. Let's drill the sword out. Potentially. Uh, I'm glad I got those two out of the way. They were holding up the variety of this challenge. I have to be able to spin the wheel today. And that's getting kind of dangerous. Hang on, we're underground. Dust ball. Okay, you're not mis you're not behaving. And that's a plus six attack, I'm in trouble. There we go. Crazy itch today. I don't think I had a mark, but I'll still look at it. Oh, modest, bad nature. It makes its way swiftly through the soil by putting both claws together at a rotating high speed. Basically what you see in the anime. Alrighty. Obviously, uh, yeah, yeah. Considering this took forever to find, we'll move on to the next target straight away. That is the main rule for this. But first of all, above all else, let us evolve it. Footage got interrupted with it evolving. <laughs> oh boy. That might be a problem. <laughs> I got a big one actually. I'll put something in the video. Like saying like um the footage got messed up or something. Alright, we managed to catch up now. Four more Pokemon and we finish the first box. In fact, I might get this one ready. Academy 2. Still gonna be a bit until we get everything, but. Got a lot of stars done in this box. Alright. Let's do something we haven't done in ages. Uh, ignore that. Alrighty, our next Pokemon hunt is going to be
shit. <laughs> uh, Minior. Uh, for people who don't know, Minior has um, quite a rough situation when it comes to shiny hunting. But I shall go ahead with it. I went. I'll put this one here, and then I'll put the mini or gif on there. Now the thing is, with mini or, we're going to need a special Pokemon that I have been preparing especially for this. And actually, I'm going to use the. Uh, the, the shine then that really cool form because that is what we're doing this for that looks really weird on that isn't it but yeah for this hunt, we are going to need a special Pokemon. That one has Swift Swim. That's mainly because that's my VGC, Kingdra. Here we are, this one. It's got damp on it. The main idea is, it's going to stay in front and prevent it from self-destructing. Whoops. Now, the question is, where is the best area to find Minior? I think it's to assume it's in here. <laughs> but let us see what happens. I'll try a flying sandwich. <sighs> that was a good bit of tea. Wow, King's just quite big. Yeah, and that, thinking about it, flying needs egg, right? Uh, one sweet and one spicy. I need to make sure not to use sweet and sour, because oh, it's one of the two. Mainly just down to the fact that those two always never work with each other. I forgot how annoying it is to lay down egg. Looks like I'm resetting this one, eh? <sighs> that was good. 
I'd be lucky if I get encounter in this one, by the way. It will eventually happen. For a minute, I thought it was at if it been area zero. Man. Again, I don't know how this is going to work. Right, so, little cucumber. Eggs. Sweet and so sweet and sweet and spicy. Right. Cucumber. Now the tricky part. Straight away, fucking hell. I'm just hoping that it's excusable of one. Please work. Ah, come on. be a good watch later. I uh, just I was looking at a uh, video about Loxton Noggin. I really do like his content. Straight to the point really. Ooh, stream rate is almost done. And I did notice someone put something in there. Mainly mainly majorly. Oh, Jesus Christ I'm stupid. Maybe this time I'll put down the um the egg first. Mm. 
See, there you go. Stream marriage is done. This is so stressful, this egg. Yeah, th this is a lot better. There. Oh god, that cucumber nearly fell. And I'll leave the, the, the that off first. <coughs> I'm employed at Subway now. <laughs> and before we put the timer on for that... Four units, wow. That guy's doing a lot of hits. Okay, whoever that guy is, I'm gonna give him to him, because that guy kind of carried that. Kenny Boom! Kenny Boom won that for us. Congratulations, Kenny Boom. Ooh, I got a cool skin there. Royal Guard Templar skin. Um, I don't think this is gonna go well, considering I just used my best unit on for a bit. I don't have enough. But I am Morbius for now, and just help people join. It would be good to actually take that off, wouldn't it? And then, uh, what? Everything's on there. Maybe I'll try another Urban Mystica combination or something. I got everything on there. Looks like I'm checking the flipping cucumber and pickle recipe again. Pickle, 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 pickle. Flying, 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 flying. Uh, I've been using the wrong ingredient again. It's something called prosecuto. It looks like some kind of um, Spanish oriented type of cut of meat. Which I'm not against the idea of meat. It's just. I was using egg the whole time. It did look like it was close though, because it was giving me the flying type. So, cucumber and pickle. And prosecuto. Sweet and spicy again. Yeah, it looks like some kind of pork. Spanish are known for pork cuts. Don't know why though.
There. Symbols. I think I remember a location on the map that's really good for looking for mini ore. I'll quickly jet over there now because I'm not far from there. That I remember. There we go. Yeah, it looks like I got it wrong. Alright, let's get over to that area quickly, otherwise um, I'm wasting a sandwich. Well, technically, here's good. Oh god, ciphers. Okay, so the plan is, the fact is, uh, um, I will be using this Kingdra here as a way to determine whether I found a shiny. Obviously at the moment these ciphers are a problem. I'm just trying to get up to those minions just in case. Once I see they're not shiny, I'll move on. Oh, for God's sake! Let's just do that. Right, now that I know it's not, I'll run away. Great, more mini ores. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Let's just go over to that bit um, I was advised. Ooh. An item I haven't picked up yet. Nope. Now, the area that I'm particularly looking for should be down this path. Now, hopefully, around here... Nothing but Minyor should show up. So, basically, this is gonna be us now. For the rest of the sandwich. Just attacking all these Minyors until Kingdra refuses. Very chillaxing.
Come on. Well, I can't really say come on because it's actually pretty good also. And I won't know it. I won't know if I find it until King refuses, so I can't just. I just gotta find a mini or and beat it up. Now I just let chill and watch King to do the work around here. I'd like to say I'm killing off the entire Minion species, but what even is Minion supposed to be? It's just a sentient comet. I think. Hang on, Kingdra. There you go. Knock him out. Come on. Uh, another ad break, apparently. <laughs> Ooh. A bit of a click there. <laughs> Bum. If I see a mini or it dies. That is the best case scenario at the moment. All I gotta do is find a mini or and attack it. And then if it's uh, a shiny, I will be let alone. I think Minion was the one Pokemon I was worried about the most about finding. But then compared to what happened with Totodile and what is going to happen with Cyndaquil, it doesn't feel as bad now. I 
I think we might nearly be reaching the halfway mark of this challenge. We're nearly at 30 Pokemon. And there's like 30 odd Pokemon left in the list. Let's check these five. King Dread, there were good for you there, you missed. <laughs> for a minute, I thought he was refusing to te fight that minion then. Come on, please. I'll be nice. There's a good cluster here. <laughs> cluster. <laughs> Why did Cluster make me laugh? Um... I don't know what to do about that one that's just flying away. Just an attempt. If one got away, what if that one was the shiny? Right. Let's get back up there. Whoa, okay. Please be nice to me. Come on, baby.
How much time does this flying sandwich have? Under, have, uh, under 15 minutes left to go. I'm gonna keep going though. I'm gonna keep going. I think I lost count how many minials I've killed. Of course it doesn't matter because this isn't an outbreak, but still. I think this is like the worst part about this. Like, you don't know when it's gonna happen. But you know it, it will eventually. I kind of just don't know what I'm supposed to expect here. <laughs> Again, it's the algorithm, but with Minior, the algorithm's being hidden from me. So there's an extra step in this method to try and find it. Lay off of a warning her, mate. Um, apologies for being quiet there, like, like, for this time I don't really need to be quiet, it's just, I don't know. I just like to talk to someone. Just, 
It just seems so quiet, that's all. Nine minutes to go. Hmm. Oh, don't fake me out like that, Kingdra. I think another thing as well, like say if I look over there, I could be looking at the shiny, but I won't know that, and there's obviously the chance of it, one of them getting away. I won't know that. Come on, lads, get it together. Just trying all of them. That is the best they can do. It was just because that one was out of the way. It's a flying seahorse. <laughs> Let's check out them lot over there. They could just turn around, mate. <laughs> I didn't mean to bump the microphone, sorry. Them three next. Okay, that's getting annoying now. 
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, cool, M MJ. Thanks for the addition onto the onto the battlefield. Really appreciate it. I don't know why I randomly put a, a message in the chat for that. Oh, that looks like it's gonna help. If you're in the chat, thanks for that. Well, I made a dance, Spider-Man. Don't ask me why I made a random reference. Ah, stream ready, ready to go. When the sandwich is done, we'll do that. Come on, there's a good cluster here. One should be it. I was just checking that one just in case because I don't like it when they keep going off the edge so I can't reach them. Five units, fantastic. If only I had this much, that much luck in stream right as I do trying to find this manure. Don't ask me why I did that. Under a minute to go, come on, come on. Can I please stop doing that? A last minute wonder, please. Just to just get right off the mark. Okay. Sandwich is over, but I'm still gonna check all the manuals that are around here. The shinies can linger if you don't find them in time. So it's just, just as long as I check all the minials before we finish. 
Not the golet. And of course the crab brawl has come to ruin the experience. Alright then, alright, sandwich is up. Let's try again. Oh. Oh. Crazy stretch that guys. I admit that one. Right. As the rules have stated though, we'll do another sandwich for that. But if nothing comes out of it, I mean, if we do find it, we are going to basically, yeah. Uh, we are going to basically start off with the next hunt straight away. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. I am stupid, though. Right. We'll get things ready for the sandwich, and now we'll start the... Actually, why didn't I think about just going straight for the cave? Oh, what's that? I was just checking that score, bunny. Score bunny and Chimchar are going to be interesting hunts. Mainly because they're that close to each other, they're going to affect each other. Just check in. Are you saying that? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I didn't need to wait the sandwich. <laughs> all right, 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 okay, 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 okay. Okay, that could be a problem. Repeat. Mm. And that is why I brought Kingdra. Now I just gotta spam Pokeballs before it kills itself. Come on, don't do that, don't do that. Oh, no fairness. 
The fact that it keeps lowering its health is helping a little bit. I'll try another repeat ball. No, nothing still. Why is this thing's catch rate? Oh, power gym. If Kingdra dies, that, that's a bad news. Because that means it, it's open to explosion. So I actually need to heal my Pokemon. This is actually the most stressful shiny hunt I've ever been on. Not just for the fact that it's taking forever to find it. It's preventing it from killing itself. It's still got a lot of health on itself, but still. Oh, imagine if I just went straight away for the sandwich without checking. I might have to consider the Master Ball at some point. Right, let's, let's see if the Dusk Ball does anything. No. Okay, I'm right behind that rock. It's really an eyesore. All right, I'll try another repeat ball. Let's try an Ultra Ball again. I bet that might be the best option for now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I need a break. It's the blue core. Cool. Oh, look at that thing. That thing looks amazing. Let's get you over here then. There. Oof. All right. Such an awesome shiny man. And a stressful one. <laughs> Alright. Three shinies left to go. And now Kingdra's been... Alright, now. I can put Honeycrest back in the body. And the another great thing is I didn't have to waste Urban Mystica on that. Alright. Wrong one. There you go. Let the battle begin. Kenny Boom stores against the Mag Margriff. This is very intimidating, this this theme. <laughs> I guess I'll pick my Templar. Not sure how useful it'll go, but... Wrong one. But I will switch over to the wheel while it's got up. Alright, so our final hunt of the night will contain... No. 
<laughs> okay. So, as the time of um, me making this stream and this recording, there's an event right now for Ella Kid. So, I've got a really good opportunity here. Hang on, work with me. I'll get Ella Kid going up now. It's going to be a nightmare to flip and identify, though. You'll see why when I bring up its shiny. If I can, oh, there it is. I honestly can't tell the difference. That really does not look shiny. All right, then. Let's dash over to the nearest outbreak, I guess. Wow, I'm spoiled for options. You know, I've just had a brain fart. Does it look... When is Electabuzz spawn again? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know... I think Electabuzz spawns in the uh, Ave Savannah. But obviously there's no elegant outbreaks around there. Obviously, Electabuzz is more noticeable than Elekid. Oh, I know where it spawns now. Run about here. So, we'll snoop around that bit. See if any Electabuzz show up. And then we'll make a decision. High chance not, though. Frenzy's gonna run crazy over these guys. Let's just do this one. I'll knock out the outbreak first and then I'll make the sandwich. Yeah, I can't tell one bit if any of these are shiny. Is it supposed to be darker or lighter?
lighter, it looks like. Like a very lighter shade of yellow. Problem is, these already look like a ye light shade of yellow. Starting to go down, okay. So that means odds are boosted now. That one there looks different. It isn't. They're right in front of you, Frenzy. I don't know what to expect. Like, I literally don't know what to expect. Oh, they're looking at those two. They do look a bit some different. Where do be the... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to identify. Let's get- oh right, I forgot to save. Let's get the sandwich going and maybe we can get somewhere with it. Instead of just working on basic outbreak odds. Count how many times we've made it. <laughs> I don't make a lot of sandwiches. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you use yellow bell peppers. Sweet and spicy again.
Almost there. Right, now that's done, we don't need to kill any more Elekids. That's the bad news, which means we can't properly identify any of them. Apart from encountering them. does look different. <laughs> okay. Okay. I thank you for this look game. I thank you for this look. That ain't gonna work, love. There we are. Let's have a look at this one. That is such an unidentifiable shiny. I wonder if this was boosted. Alright, let's, let's evolve them quickly. Give him a quick level and then we'll move on to the next one. Might be able to get one more in. Sweet. Don't need a tiger much. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't make it into an electivire. All right, that, oh, we're almost that. We're almost at a full thirty. Right, let's save and let's move on to the next one. 
Alrighty. Bum. I couldn't tell if I was moving that then. Alright, let's spin the wheel one more time. And I mean one more time. I don't think we'd have enough time for any more. And yet, it was that... I don't know. Oh, my mouse is broken again. One minute. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I just don't know why it does that. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one as well. All right. The final hunt of the night is... Hmm. Mancino. We can work with that. Well, there's no confusion on this one, because I know for a fact um, where it is. I was just testing my luck again, just in case. That being said... Nope, I gotta stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. Just trying to think, are there any other electric types in this area in the DLC that I could maybe swoop by just in case? I know. Chin Chow and Lantern. Well, that didn't work, did it? Uh, sorry, that, that, that volibi just looked a bit suspicious, that's all. It was one of the Pokemon I did manage to grab during the Kizakame challenge. I forgot about Blissle. And 
that's not what I wanted. Oh, it's gonna be amazing when we get to do um, Trap Inch. I love the Flygon line. Hmm. You know, that's an interesting question for me. What is my favorite region? I honestly can't think. What is my favorite Pokemon region? Obviously I start looking towards Univer, that's my home region, but... Hoenn, like Alola, Gala, they have such good ideas. I think if anything I can pin down that Hoenn is second place for me. Hoenn has got such a good roster. Don't ask me why I'm doing this, I don't know myself. Whoops. Note to self, don't ever go into this cave with an electric sandwich. Rotom is everywhere. Kalos was good as well. Not for that obvious reason, but... I'm just hoping they get to do a lot more with Kalos than what they did. Well, that was a waste of time. Whoops. Ooh. Here we are. It shocks me that there's only ever been one ice and electric type. That being Rotom Frost. It feels like there's a lot more potential for that. He'll do. Alright, save. This one I definitely don't need reminding of. Normal types usually like tofu. Sweet and salty. And yeah, um, I'm gonna have to definitely work on some Herba Mystica.
This is gonna be one big looking pyramid scheme. Uh -huh. Aha. That one tofu falling off after that up, didn't it? We'll do one more sandwich with Minchino, and basically if it goes anywhere, if we find it, we find it, but as soon as we find it, we'll finish off then. Maybe better. Come on. There we are. Much better. Okay, good. Oh, cute little cried in it. Same rules apply as if Chinchino's um, found before Minchino, we're good. And Stream Raiders is ready to go. We could bump into Smurgle, couldn't we? I need to remember to use False Swipe on that thing so it learns False Swipe and doesn't struggle itself to death.
Uh, let's stay away from something I've already hunted. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye off a smurgle. Pink chinchilla in the snow shouldn't be too hard to find, right? I just gotta bring up, I've found a lot of shiny Pokemon today. Totodile, Drillbur, Minior, Elekid, and potentially, Minchino. A random Missouri and quillfish out of the water. Is that it? No, no, it says it'd be yellow. It's just the shading of the area. Jesus Christ, the frame lag. Team Terrible. <laughs> that name suits. <laughs> okay, now it's right night. In game, might be easier to identify it with it being it, since it was sundown, or is it dusk? Yeah, dusk. Something feels off here. Not seeing as many minchinos. Maybe I should try in a different location. I keep bumping into Alicate outbreaks. And I forgot about the dealings. This this looks like this would be better.
Yeah, this does look a lot better. A lot more Minchino here. This is actually really good for the spawning Minchinos. It isn't when I walk into walls. If you ever use that on Consuela from Family Guy, I'm never going to forgive you. You already did it with Wallace and Gromit and Flippin' Homer Simpson. So no, you, you probably will do it. <laughs> I guess it's revenge for making you fall for the bird of the word the other day. That does depend if you watch this VOD, but I think you're the odd few people that actually do watch it. Twenty minutes to go, lads. If I'm lucky, I could get an extra shiny through, um, Smurgle. In all seriousness, no. I just don't like Smurgle. It just looks like such a boring design. I don't know why I say it that way. Boring. Just boring. I don't, like, I'm really going to my British roots, aren't I? Just, it's utterly boring. I'm just going to spontaneously combust myself. Jesus Christ.
Yeah, we're getting a lot of uh, Manchinos seen here, and the odd one or two Smurgles, so... There is a good chance. If we find Porygon, that's the bad situation, because obviously we have already found that. Ooh, we got five lovely viewers. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, sorry for the random spell there. When you uh, go for the same thing over and over again, you tend to go a little bit crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They put me in a cushioned room with a bunch of rats. I don't remember the official term, but... Anywho, just trying to go for a little pink mint chinchino. A ch oh, maybe a chinchilla called Minchino. <laughs> Isha really am insane. Where do be you? Earlier on I thought I found a shiny Manchino, but I noticed by the ears that it wasn't yellow, it was red. Like that. It was just a, a regular Manchino, but the shading of the sun made me think it was otherwise. He's that guy's trying to Lion King himself there. <laughs> Come on, where are you? No, there's some up there. Nope. Maybe I need to do some finger exercises, make physiotherapy for your fingers. I don't know why that was anything. Yes, it is polar, mate. Ooh, a lot of them are there. No. Yeah, no. I got a question in chat to try and um, spark conversation. Probably won't work, but oh well, worth a shot. If there was any shiny you could change, what would it be? And that goes for the comment section as well. A question for y'all. If there was any shiny you wanted to change from its original shiny coloration, what would it be? Couldn't move there for a second.
Whoops. Please be nicer to me. I just want a pink chinchilla. Don't ask me why, but it does actually feel like the the term chinchilla is already a Pokemon name. I'm sorry, I thought you wanted a chinchilla. I know you didn't specifically want one, but still. Alright, hang on, let me um, get this on a point where the sandwich is paused. Um. Here we go. Is that a duck with a... I don't know what's going on with that. I haven't touched the ad thing in it. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, I'm not sure if you saw, but that guy that was with us just had a random goose with a knife and that won it. Ooh, I got a Petal Warrior skin. Alright, that will be the last one we have time for. But let's get back into looking for Chinchino. And, um... Tori, thank you. I, I really didn't mean to bother you. I was just saying, like, Stream Raiders is open if you wanted to add something quickly. That's all. Yeah, 12 minutes left on the stream, guys, and then we'll be sorted. A lot is going on as of now, along with some lag while well, I'm in. Hmm. I'll admit that sounds quite odd. Next time I get a chance to speak with you, Tori, remind me to talk about Sea of Thieves, because there is something about that I wanted to ask you. It's not about playing it, it's about something else. If you're busy with your D&D &D session, don't worry about it. I 
Again, I'm sorry I disturbed you. Yeah, th I, I knew that. It's just, um... I was just wondering, like, how you'd feel about being, like, the main mod during that, because obviously Mike and Croy won't be available to do it. And then maybe you could... Like, you know how, um, Kira, um talked in the bat in the sidelines during the borderlands streams it'd be a bit like that like the main mod like you'd sit in the call with us while we were doing it and you'd chat with everyone but it would mainly be to spark conversation with the four of us I bet like how Kira did it in the Borderlands streams. I did, I did just want to run it by you. I'm not saying it has to happen. That That's why I'm saying it doesn't need to happen, because I know there's a chance she might not be available. And thinking about it, there's a good chance that might not be able to happen. That does remind me, um, I have decided earlier today that I'm moving the single player streams to Monday afternoons. So it's easier for Mike to take part in those. So we might have some company with Mike if you're available to join on Monday streams. Oh yeah, it's Easter Sunday tomorrow. And yeah, um, the game I've been playing recently, Hi-Fi Rush, it's just been proving to the world. I have no tempo. As in a musical tempo. I don't have any kind of musical tempo whatsoever. Ugh, that person's hands made me think that there was the Smeggle's brush. Is the um, D and D session going well? Like no deaths or anything? A good crit roll or something? Basic knowledge trying to help me through this conversation. Knowledge. Right, I'll leave you to it then. You know, I haven't played Baldur's Gate in free in a while. We're just waiting for that cross-platform up, um, up there, haven't we, to play that. We need to try and figure something else about that, actually. There actually might be something we could do about that, actually. I'll have some time to think about it, but I think I might have an idea for something, because... You don't have classes on Saturdays, do you? Oh, I know you're playing a regular Dungeons & Dragons, but... Personally, Baldur's Gate 3 has been the only, um... The only experience I've been playing that uses D&D &D lingo, and it, hence it's the only way I understand the mechanics of the game. And that's exactly why I was thinking about Baldur's Gate 3 when you were talking about D&D. &D. And uh, sorry for the background noise. Yeah, I know you're not playing Baldur's Gate 3, but I have been playing Baldur's Gate 3. And because of that... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Never mind then. I was just thinking about something. 
I was thinking, what if we swapped the multiplayer sessions on Friday nights to tonight? But if you've got D and D, then it doesn't matter. I'm I'm just trying to be inclusive. That's all. But if it's impossible, then we'll just take what we can get. I hope you guys didn't hear my big uh, breathing then. I know my Mike's guilty of that sometimes. Need to remember to render the the vod before I go to sleep tonight. This. Alright, let's have a change of scenery because this is getting a bit boring. I gotta remember about those dearling. Yep, no, no, nope. I need to remember to stay away from the Ella kids. Nope. Let's try over there. Uh, my mind is playing tricks on me again. What do you mean again? It's never stopped. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I really do feel like I'm actually going crazy.
Hmm. The best case scenario would be to dash forward as fast as I can right now to try and get a flipping last minute El uh, Chinchino in the last 20 seconds. Nope. Oh, God damn it, my screen's telling me it's gonna shut off. Oh, thank God. Oop. That was the quickest 20 seconds of my life. Ah, well. I did get a lot today, so I'm not complaining. Alrighty, that'll be it for today's stream. Uh, we got a lot of progress today with the challenge. I think the biggest, um... Amazos today will probably be the Minior and um, Elekid hunts because they only took a. F oh. The Minior took one sandwich, but then we randomly bumped into it, and then Elekid just showed up out of nowhere. I was kind of concerned about that one considering Elekid is not easily noticeable. Anyway, uh, next week we shall continue for our hunt for Minchino. Hopefully, we'll be lucky for an outbreak to show up. But above all else, uh, that'll be it for today. If you like our content, please consider liking and subscribing. We're close to 100 fo we're, we're close to 100 subscribers. Let's hope we can get there now. We're nearly there. Uh, above all else, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. See ya. <laughs>